Yo, what's up? It's James Dean. As you guys might know, I posted up on my Instagram just a couple of days ago, challenging you guys to see if we could hit 5,000 subscribers before the 1st of November. Now we're about 30 subscribers away, and you know what? You guys jumped on board, you shared it with your friends and your family, you asked everyone to subscribe, and we did it. We hit 5,000 subscribers, guys, on the 31st of October, just a couple of hours before midnight. We hit 5,000 subscribers. I just want to say a huge thank you for everyone who, even from the start till now, has shared my videos, shared my channel, liked, commented, supported me. I appreciate it so much, guys. So, thank you guys so much. Now, today I wanted to do a little special video, obviously celebrating 5,000 subscribers, but also a little about me and some things that you guys might know, some quirks, some little fun facts. And yeah, so check it out. Here we go. He's number one. Now I get this question quite a lot and that's where do you choreograph? Now I choreograph in a few different places. This is one of them. This is my living room. I choreograph here of course. Now I also choreograph lying down in bed. I'll be like listening to the music and just mapping out where I want to hit things, whether it's the, the different beats or the lyrics or different sounds that I want to hit. I'll also have um, where times where I'll go to bed and I'll go to sleep and I'll dream of choreography piece and I'll wake up and I'll have to try and like recollect the dream of my choreography and try and sort of put that into place so sometimes I'll even dream of choreography and yeah I just have to get up and get it out straight away otherwise I'll forget it and it's gone uh, another place that I choreograph is in the shower so I'll be in the shower and choreographing which is Dangerous, don't do it, don't recommend it. There's been a few times where I've like almost slipped and almost slipped into the splits, which I can't do, which is bad, it hurts, so don't do it. <laughs> Another place is on the toilet. I'll be sitting on the toilet, listening to music, choreographing. It's kind of weird, I know, but yeah, I kind of choreograph everywhere. <laughs> um, another place, I'll be in the kitchen cooking or cleaning, and I'll be like washing dishes and kind of choreographing. So uh, yeah, there's a few places that I kind of choreograph. It's kind of like always running through my head, but yeah. So I didn't actually know how to tie my shoelaces in a proper bow until I was about 13 when a friend of mine actually taught me. And the reason why they taught me is because they saw me tying my shoelaces and they were like, what the hell did you just do? That was not a normal bow. And apparently this whole time I've been tying my shoelaces in a weird way. My parents and my brothers had obviously tried to teach me how to tie my shoelaces in a bow before I was 13, but uh, I guess I just never got the hang of it. And once I started tying my shoelaces and successfully, I thought it was just a normal bow, but I didn't realize until I was 13 when my friend saw me do it, that that wasn't the case. So, this whole time I've just been tying my shoelaces in this completely different way. So I'm going to show you guys how I tie my shoelaces. So obviously I even lace my shoes differently. So I do a weird little uh, where it kind of comes across here and then over the top and then I'll skip this hole and it comes under and comes over the top again. So it's kind of like a, if I tighten these up, it's kind of like a through and over, skip a hole, through and over, skip a hole, through and over. And I do the same thing on the other side, filling in the gaps. This way it kind of hugs my foot in more and just feels a lot more nice and snug. I like it better. So yeah, rather than the normal crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. So the normal way you obviously tie your shoelaces is in the normal bow, you cross two loops, you do your cross again, boom. Now with this one, you can obviously undo the shoelace pulling either one. Now the way that I tie my shoelaces is this kind of funny way of doing it, which you do your normal cross, then you do one loop. This guy is gonna come all the way around and then he comes through that hole. Now I've got my two loops, I'm just gonna bring that around. Got my two loops and I do another cross. Now with this one, you've got this guy 
which can't undo it. He's strong. He's stuck there. This guy, on the other hand, he can undo it. But it's not as easy as when you do a bow, how it just comes straight away undone. So that again, obviously do the normal knot, boom. And then I've got that one loop and the other guy comes all the way around, all the way around and then through the hole. And then I've got my two bows. Now they're gonna do the knot like the normal bow knot. And that's it. And then I can strap this guy across and there. And the reason why I love that is because I've never had a problem of my shoelaces coming undone. So no, the normal bow knot, it comes undone really easily. Even if you double knot it, it can come undone easily. Where this one, it just seems to stay real tight. And yeah, so I don't know if I've just created a brand new knot or something, but that's how I tie my shoelaces and that seems to work for me. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below of uh, any videos that you would like me to do. Or if you want to see more of these videos or vlogs, dance class videos, concept videos, collaborations. What do you guys want to see? Leave a comment down below and make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.